Hey girls. Gate's not open yet. Waiting for the stragglers. <laughs> Come on, girls. <laughs> oh, bear, are you stuck on the wrong side? Hey you, Brindle, back, back, good boy, girl. Okay, a few more. Uh, I've got to go up and check trees, see if there's any down. Uh, Just wait a minute. Okay. The stampede. Inca, leave it. Job, Inca. Good girl, leave it. Check trees, hay, and etc. See if anything came down in Storm Jocelyn. There was quite a blow last night. A very big blow. I'm surprised this tree hasn't come down yet. Look at how this deadwood side, it's hollow inside there. Great place for insect life and maybe bats are in there, I don't know, or bird's nest. Here's another hollow hole. You can see all the way through to the bigger hollow here. You can look down into it. Nothing's nested in there. I don't think they will because it's too easy to access for a cat or a fox or a badger so there's still life in it oh that's dead ah here there's still life in it so i'll leave it standing because it's a good habitat for something birds can get in out of the rain insects etc bats so it's a really good habitat, even though a fox or a badger could get whatever bird or bat goes in there. It's fascinating, the inside of trees. We well, see up there, they would badger wouldn't get bats. So maybe there's bats up in there. Oh, hello. Yes, you're the kind of person who might eat a bird if they nested in that tree. No trees down otherwise. It's looking good. Hay supply is good. So everything is relatively tickety-boo. This tree is another one that's gonna go. We chopped out this half. <laughs> you such a fuzzy cat in the cold. Aren't you a fuzzy cat? The sheep are all coming. Hey girls. Anyway, this tree is gonna go at some stage because half of it rotted away and we chopped it away. Woo, look at this. They're all running down here. I don't know why, they think I've done something. I've increased the food supply or something. Here comes tiny Inca. Hey, Inca Dink, you're racing down here. Yeah, how are you, Inca Dink? Yeah, clever girl, clever girl. Whoops. <laughs> Not quite sure how to deal with sheep. Trying to be friendly with sheep. <laughs> the sheep, not quite sure how to deal with him. Look at the tail. <laughs> you 
a good kitty. You can see our woods in the background there. snuffed by sheep. They're sniffing you. You good kitty. Yeah. <laughs> and you good dog too. And you're a good dog too. Well, they've all come down. You're clambering every tree you can. And no trees are down after Storm Jocelyn. And as you can see, the hay is all fine. Plenty of hay for you ladies, eh? Plenty of hay. Oh, look, the cats. Time is inspecting the hay. Very, really becoming an overseer, aren't you, Time? <laughs> there you go, cat time in the hay, surrounded by sheep, and then decides enough's enough. Isn't that right, kitty? Okay, and you're chewing a stick. Yeah, you're such a good girl. You're such a good girl. You're such a good girl. <laughs> Okay, oh look at her, burying her head in the hay, up to her shoulders. I'm being watched. They've come in to see what I'm doing in the woods. See, this is, this is a very sheltered area intentionally for the sheep. And then there's this fence here. And then the woods over here. And I've been planting that all with snowdrops and bluebells and wood anemones and cow parsley and jack in the pulpit. So keeping the sheep out of there. They're all like going, what are you doing in there? What you doing in there? Hey girls, how are you guys? Yeah. You beautiful ladies. So I'm just walking along here, checking the fence line. Just in case something has fallen on it. Here's piles of our stones that we've collected for repairing stone walls. And time is still doing inspection, inspection duty. But you can see there's a lovely corridor of shelter. These laurels, I'm not a fan of laurels but um, my grandfather planted them as uh, shelter for when he planted uh, trees in here and the laurels have taken over. Though this beech tree is coming up, it's doing okay. It had a struggle with uh, gray squirrels. Gray squirrels as it was growing kept stripping its young bark, which is why it's split right there. The leader right there was stripped by a gray squirrel. So the branch, the tree forked. You can see it's dead. Anyway, I don't know what this pile is. This is my grandfather's pile. He put this pile here. It could be stone wall, stones or a pile of rubbish. I don't know. Maybe I should dig it out one day. Anyway, so you can see there's ash, beech, cherry, all in here, and laurel. How's Kitty? What you doing up that tree? Kitty! Yeah! One of our old cast iron gates Good dog. And a little bit. Hey, little bit. How are you? How are you? Yes. Yes. 
Yes. Sheep all thinking I was doing something in the woods that will benefit them. Something to eat. Afraid not. Here you can see some some of the bird boxes I've put up. Isn't that right? A little bit. Yeah. Okay. On to the next job. I've just emptied the trailer with hay, putting some in the ring feeder and spread some of it out. And the horses are happy. They're outside again after last night's storm. I'm going to keep this section, this paddock divided off. And as you can see, the grass is beginning to come back in here. Oh, the cat's worried about something. Could be a fox. Because they're screaming and fighting and calling at the moment. So something over there is giving the cat the heebie-jeebies.